Hi, and thanks for joining us. My name is Kari. And I'm Kimberly. And we're going to be making some healthy and delicious vegetable um, dishes today for you. Um, today we've got a broccoli and garlic. Broccoli and garlic today. You can use this quick recipe to introduce your children to a new vegetable. Keep in mind that it sometimes takes children up to 10 times trying something before they agree to um, try it again. So don't get frustrated with it. Keep yeah. trying. And also, you can serve a small portion of the new veg or the new dish or the vegetable right. to your children, along with a larger portion of something that they actually like. They'll be more apt to try it in that sense. Um, also, if they see you eating it, they'll be more likely to eat it as well. Um, you know, they may play with their food a little bit on their plate, and that's just their way of getting to know things and getting to, you know, used right. to it. Right. Absolutely. Um, and so, yeah, never force them to eat it. Just kind of let them go at their own pace. They'll probably try it eventually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do today is go ahead and. Um, Get our skillet ready. We're going to turn our oven on here, or our stove, I'm sorry, to a medium heat. And there we go. And now with this recipe, you can use any skillet that you have at home. We have a cast iron skillet, and this is great um, because the vegetables, as it's cooking, they're going to absorb some iron, which is great for anemia. So okay. we're going to get started with our ingredients. Yeah. We're actually using a quarter cup of olive oil here in the bottom of our pan. If you have canola oil at home or something else, that's fine as well. Okay. Um, whatever oil you want to use. Okay. Then we're going to add a quarter um, teaspoon of red pepper flakes, I'm sorry, and three cloves of garlic. So I'll go ahead and get this stirring up here in the bottom of the pan. Okay. And here's the garlic. The garlic. Okay. Maybe a little help Wonderful. There. Okay. And it smells good. Wonderful, delicious meal here. And so this is going to cook up for about one minute. So while I'm stirring this around, if you want to show them how to get yeah. the broccoli ready. The main ingredient in this is our broccoli and we're using one head. Now we already have it chopped here into small bite-sized pieces, but I'm going to show you how we've done that. With broccoli, the first thing that you're going to want to do is get broccoli that's fresh. As you can see, these florets are really nice and green. And what we're going to do is first cut off the bottom part because this is really kind of tough here. So you want to cut this part off and then discard it. Then we're going to take up here and we're going to cut pretty close to the florets. And as you see, as I do that, make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. As I do that, they're going to start to break apart into small bite-sized pieces. You can take a smaller knife and then help them out here to <clears throat> finish cutting them off. And now you're going to use the stock for this, right? I am. I'm going to go okay, ahead and wonderful. use that. Um, some people might throw this away, but we're not going to. We're going to peel this off here with just a potato peeler. Because there again, the stock can be kind of tough. You don't want to waste it, and you get no. a lot of, you know, a lot of vitamins right here in this part. As well. So after I have this completely peeled, then once again, discard this to the side. I'm going to cut it in small bite-sized pieces. If you want to hand me that right. bowl that's already done, we'll go yep. ahead and put that in. Great. And now you just dump this in there, and you want to just go ahead and toss it around to make sure that the broccoli gets covered in oil really well. Just mix it around, and you'll just keep on doing this for. A few minutes About here. Five minutes. And you can actually, you, actually can cook it, you can cook it longer if you want to. If you like your vegetables a little more tender or if you like them more crunchy, then don't cook them as long. Okay, and actually once we've got these in mm -hmm. here and a little bit covered in oil, we're going to go ahead and add our salt. We've got half a teaspoon. Sprinkle that around. Okay. Okay. And two tablespoons of water. Just give it a little more moisture. Okay. All right. Now always be careful when you're cooking here with these skillets. I'm going to go ahead and put on an oven mitt just to hold the handle because it will get hot and I don't want any accidents. And so we'll go ahead and let this cook up, like we said, for about five minutes. While we're doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit because when you're using a cast iron skillet, and you can use any skillet that you have at home, but if you have a cast iron and it's the first time that you're using it, you have to season it first. Okay, you and what do you do that? How well, do you do that? Yeah, let me show you. It's actually pretty simple. Okay. You're going to take whatever oil that you have. Like we said, we're using olive oil here. I've already done half of it. I'm going to show you. Put a little on a paper towel. And the thing that you have to remember with a cast iron skillet is as you're doing this, you're just going to rub it around here. You've got to get the entire skillet, both the inside of the skillet and the outside, and then lastly, you have to make sure that you include the handle when you're using the oil on it. After you do that, you're going to preheat the oven to about 300 degrees. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that in you for you. Want to put that in for me? You want to keep an eye on that? I for sure me? will. Okay, and those are heavy, so just be careful. You'll preheat the oven to about 300 degrees, and you're going to let it cook in there for an hour. When it comes out, it's nice and seasoned, and by doing this, you're going to prevent your, you're going to prevent your uh, cast iron skillet from 
rusting, getting corrosion, and it's going to give you a nice non-stick cooking surface. Wonderful. Well, speaking of seasoning things, I think we're going to go ahead and add our lime to this. Now you just want to squeeze, um, you know, probably a half a lime to a whole lime over the top of this, That's which adds a lot of vitamin, vitamin C. C. Absolutely. And it also helps to soak up some of the iron from the skillet when you add that to it. Okay. So that's that. And we're going to reduce the heat to low and let it cook for about five minutes like we said. So now that it's done, we'll go ahead and turn that off. I'm sorry. Let me get my oven on my glove. If you want to grab a plate, I'll give you a Please. little serving here. This smells wonderful. The garlic, the lime juice in there now. Once again, just be careful. It's hot. It is very hot. And one more thing, always keep your um, handles away from the edge of the stove so kids don't run into it or touch it. Okay. See how that tastes? Mm. Delicious. It's delicious. Wonderful. Well, we look forward to sharing other healthy foods with you in the future. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy this healthy, wonderful, delicious vegetable recipe. We'll be right back. And welcome back. We're making another delicious and healthy vegetable recipe this time. Right, we're going to make summer squash medley. Wonderful. And with this recipe, it smells delicious. The aromas that are going to fill your kitchen when you're cooking. With the, it smells the, good already. Yes, Absolutely. it's great. And keep in mind also that summer squash is a low cost vegetable. And when it's cooked with uh, other vegetables like tomatoes and onion, it really has a great taste. Yeah, and you get a lot of vitamin C and also using this skillet. Right, we're going to use our iron, uh, cast iron skillet like we did with the broccoli and garlic recipe. And there again, you're going to uh, add to the iron absorption in right. your family. And do you have to season it every time? or? Well, you know, with that, you are the first couple of times that you use it, you don't have to go through the whole seasoning process, but you're going to want to make sure that you add a little bit of oil each time okay. um, so the vegetables don't stick. And one other very important thing to remember is to always use your pot holders. The cast iron skillets heat all the way around, not just right. in the middle where your right. food is cooking. So you need to always remember to use those when you're moving things around. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take off the lid so we can get started on this. Okay. One the other, other thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Ahead? Yeah, the other thing that you want to make sure you do is that you uh, wash your hands and the vegetables that you're going to be using um, before you start cooking. So Kari and I have already washed our hands. So I say we let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Okay. Here we go. I've already turned on the uh, stove here to a medium heat. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move this while it's not hot. Okay. All right, and let's get started. We have um, half a tablespoon of olive oil. You can use canola oil. Okay. It's just fine. Okay. Put that in our skillet. I'm going to spread it around a little while you add our um, onion and our garlic. Okay, and this well, is we half, half, half an cup. onion chopped up. Okay. We have three cloves of garlic. And then on top of that, we're going to add three medium zucchini. Now, these have already been cut up into half circles. So I'll get that sauteing here for a minute. Okay. Now you want to stir this up for about four to five minutes, and you do want to, you know, occasionally come in here and mix it up. Keep it going nice here. And at this point, after the five to six minutes, we need to add the rest of our ingredients. Okay. So if you want to help me with that, that would be wonderful. Okay. We have half a teaspoon of cumin. There we go. Half a teaspoon of salt coming up next. We have one teaspoon of pepper. And now, if you want to, you can add a sprig of the epazote. If you don't have that, you can also use sage as a substitute. Mm -hmm. And you can put the whole sprig in there, and okay. you do want to make sure you remove that before okay. you eat. I was going to so. ask, do we leave yeah. that in there? Okay. okay, and now we have two tomatoes, medium size, which have already been chopped. Okay. Oh, this is starting to smell wonderful. Wonderful, yes. And now we have three ears of corn, which we've taken the kernels off. Or you can use a can of corn. Just make sure you drain the liquid off of that. Okay. All right. And then we also need to add two jalapenos to this, which have already been chopped as well. And it smells good. It looks delicious. Look at all those colors blending in there together. Yeah. Yeah. Now we need three tablespoons of fresh lime, which is equal to about one whole lime if you're going right. to squeeze it in there. Okay. So if you haven't already measured it out, you can just squeeze one whole lime in there. Okay. okay. We have half a teaspoon of sugar. Okay. All right. And then half a cup of cilantro, which has already been chopped as well. All right. So now at this point, I'm going to reduce the heat to low. Okay. Let it simmer probably another five to six minutes or so. Okay. And then after it's cooked up for about five to six minutes, make sure you use your gloves. And I'm going to go ahead and add the lid. Would you grab that spoon for me? I sure will. And you need to cover this and let it rest for about five to ten minutes. Okay. 
while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, since we're using the cast iron skillet again, we want to make sure that we clean it properly when we're finished using it. With the cast iron skillet, you're going to use just a little bit of soap. Scrub it really well to get any residue that has stick, that um, is stuck in there from the, the vegetables or whatever you've cooked in your cast iron skillet. And then want to make sure that you rinse it thoroughly, get all of the soap out of there, and then dry it really well. If you don't do that, you're going to risk having the cast iron skillet rust. And the other thing that you want to make sure you never do is put it in a dishwasher. We don't want to do that because there again, it may rust. Okay. And we're going to show you the finished product. And while I'm doing that, I want to mention again about the skillet to always keep the handle away from the edge because it's very easy for a little child to run up on the side and grab right. it, knock it over. And it's a major cause of burns when they uh, get right. too near the stove. Oh, so doesn't that look delicious? Wonderful. If you'll just hold the lid, I'll yeah. just scoop a little good. out. I've got to try this. Okay. This looks great. Wonderful. Oh, smell that. Wow. Oh, it smells good. Well, how's it taste? Go for it. Wonderful. Very well, once good. again, Very we have flavorful. a wonderful, delicious recipe, and we look forward to introducing your family to new recipes in the future. So in the meantime, enjoy what we've made here today, and um, we'll see you again soon.